Today, Pittsburgh Steelers defensive lineman Stephon Tewitt has officially announced his retirement. The statement from the Steelers' Twitter account reads like this. With respect to the Steelers organization, my teammates, and coaches, I would like to officially announce that I have come to the decision to retire from the NFL. I am thankful to have had the opportunity to represent the city of Pittsburgh for the past eight seasons and am blessed to leave this game with my health. After the tragic loss of my brother Richard and upon completing my degree from the University of Notre Dame, I know I'm being called to move beyond the sport of football. I want to thank everyone for the love and support they have shown both on and off the field. And again, want to thank the Rooney family, Coach Tomlin, and the entire Pittsburgh organization. It was an honor and a privilege to play for this historic team. Go Steelers. Step on to it. Very understandable. I think the statement really says it all. Tuit had a shift in perspective after his brother's loss. And also graduating from Notre Dame changed his focus as well. And I think that's something we can all get behind. I mean, do what's best for you. Whatever you're called to do, go for it. And even outside of maybe this recent shift in mindset, I think this is something Tuit has had his eye on anyway. Think back to 2018 when he did a medical missions trip to Honduras. So I think he's always looked at maybe doing something bigger outside of football. It was just the question of when. And I guess now the time is right for Tuit. I don't know exactly what he's going to do. But maybe there's some big things on the horizon for him. But before I close out, I wanted to go over to its career as a Steeler. A little career retrospective, a look back, best moments, etc., etc. I was thinking about maybe talking about what's next for the Steelers. What do we do with the D-line position? What's our salary cap space? Maybe some free agent targets to look at. But I'll probably do that tomorrow, so stay tuned. But for two, he was drafted in the second round in the 2014 draft in a class with Shazier, Dree Archer, and Martavis Bryant. Now, with Tua retiring, this actually might be one of the greatest, like, what-if draft classes for a specific team in NFL history. I think after Tua's rookie season, he became a really solid contributor on the defensive line, forming a little dynamic duo with Cam Hayward. The only hang-up really was some inconsistency at times and the injuries, but The athleticism and talent were never in question. But then in 2019, that's when Tua was able to finally put it all together. Looked like he was on his way to a Pro Bowl. He was very dominant in the first six games of the season. But then it came collapsing down because he suffered a season-ending injury. Sidelined him until 2020. But in this season's where I think he was really able to put it all together because he didn't have to face any injury. He's able to stay healthy and play consistently awesome. Posted 11 sacks, two forced fumbles, 25 QB hits and 10 tackles for loss. Borderline Pro Bowl season. Then in the 2021 offseason, Tua lost his brother in the tragic car accident. Also, he dealt with injuries, ended up having surgery, and didn't see the field at all last season. And up until this point, we didn't know if he was going to play or not this season, but now we have our answer. Overall, I'd say Tua's career as a Steeler was a success. I mean, just think of how many second-round picks or draft picks in general don't have the type of success that Tua had on the field. I think it's just a little unfortunate how it ended, though, being that his last two seasons were his best two of his career. So it makes you think that there was a little bit more there, but but if the desire isn't there, what can you say? And I don't blame him at all. It's completely understandable. So to it, thanks, bro. Once a Steeler, always a Steeler. Go be great, be inspired, and whatever you do, whatever you set out to achieve, best of luck and best wishes. But that is it for Big Deke News. Let me know what you guys think of the Stefan Tuit retirement. Down below in the comments. Hope you enjoyed. Stay chillin'. Peace.